welcome to nasir soft uh, in this video i will show you some uh, something more that is exploratory data analysis eda in rapid miner or data visualization so after watching this video you will able to learn how you can visualize change label change the title text and in the beautiful way of visualization and how you can filter your data okay for specific only uh, showing the specific attribute from it inside the uh, data visualization so this is my excel file and inside the excel file we have the three different attributes okay the first attribute contains the sentiment value that is inside the friction 0 0.08 and 0 and so on and inside the sentiment category uh, this is an, another attribute and inside this one i categorize the each sentiment as positive neutral and negative and inside the emotion there is an uh, emotion attribute there is a different value of the emotion so how we can visualize uh, this data in rapid miner rapid miner gave us an easy approach for this this is very simple uh, i will show you in this video so the first step is to import this file for this inside the rapid miner click on the import data and import that file from my computer and the location of the file okay it is inside my desktop and this is the file okay click on the next and next and yes and import inside the the folder name that is inside my local repository data and inside the topic modeling here click on the finish button as the data is imported successfully so how to visualize this data based on different scenario uh, this is very simple in rapid miner inside the rapid miner okay after the uploading we are inside the result tab okay and here you see that the sentiment value the sentiment category uh, attribute value and the emotion value as well okay for the left uh, hand here go to inside the visualization so this is where you can basically explore your data by visualization in rapid miner click on this one and the first of all here inside the plot one if you click here there are various type of graph here showing for example uh, i show with respect to the emotions okay or sentiment category with the bar graph click on the bar graph and inside the x-axis i want my category okay that is positive negative or neutral so click on this one click on the aggregate data value and here okay again value this is the value is for example this is the sentiment category value okay which contains the positive negative and neutral and inside the group by i again it with the uh, category and inside the aggregate function there are various function that is average count minimum for this i click on the count button and here you can sp it specify the how many positive okay for example if i go to the excel file inside the sentiment category there are the uh, three different uh, values that is positive neutral and negative and all these are repeated okay uh, so therefore basically there are three distinct value that is positive neutral and negative we categorize it or mention it inside the x-axis okay and basically the positive overall values are 93 the neutral overall values are 104 and the uh, negative values are 45 so this is a better visualization for this or inside the color group you can also specify the color for example like color with respect to the sentiment category so here uh, there is another color for the positive neutral and negative as well so the most of uh, are the neutral in this data so this is how you can easily specify your or categorize your data inside uh, for example if i go here inside the plot, plot style here you can specify the different color as well by your own choice okay for example here i specify the red color then this is basically the red now and there are many thing more you can also specify the label style if i click on the show label here you can it's now show the label on the top of the graph that is 104 for this 45 for this and positive for this okay 
and inside the tooltip style there are, are many more thing more okay and go down and inside the for x axis here this is the sentiment category is showing okay so how you can change the label so for this inside the x axis go to the axis style and here there are different uh, uh, basically uh, the setting inside the solid you can also specify the dotted line and so on okay this is all things inside the label style okay if i uncheck this one you will see that there is no label now and here this is the label one okay and from the you can also specify the label font as well okay for specifically bold now the neutral negative is bold and this is not bold now and you can also if you want some font size you can apply this here specifically uh, this is for the x axis and similar step you can do with the y axis all well okay so first of all how you can change the uh, title for example this is the based on the sentiment category so therefore i change it and the data is of, of like overseas so therefore i click on the title and inside uh, the title is showing to center you can also change this position and the title name is sentiment you can specify sentiment overseas okay if i click here you can here you can check that now okay now the sentiment overseas is did okay click on the left it will show at the left side or if you want at the center click on the center one as well you can also check uh, change the title font size or bold if i click on the bold that title is bold okay so similar this is for the uh, title you can uh, do for the legend and tooltip as well okay so i did all these about this one the buy rock after that click on this one you can export whatever uh, the image in inside the png format or pdf or csv i want to save at png okay and the location specify the location where you want to save this graph okay so i want to see uh, save it inside the overseas folder and the name is sentiment bar okay click on the save button now this is saved inside the specified folder here okay if i double click on this one okay you can see that this is showing to me okay and one thing is more the negative neutral and positive is very small as in this image so for this if i again go to here and inside the x axis as it, this is showing inside the x axis so therefore x axis inside the axis style and label style label font here this is bold and the uh, for example the size is 14 if i click on the 14 now this is and bold this is uh, now in meaningful so this is how you can uh, select the pie chart from here okay now we again show the bar graph okay for the another data that is basically the emotion for the emotion we have three uh, and inside here group by the motion as well for the motion we have different motion uh, emotions basically that is uh, basically positive negative fear anger and surprise and inside this one this is the motions and the color group is also for the emotion so now this showing all us uh, all the emotions okay if i unselect the color group all the emotions are showing okay so inside the data this is basically the overseas data and the mostly emotions are positive inside the text okay and the number of fears is very less and anger is also very less so this is all about the how you can visualize the data inside the x-axis if i change the text uh, basically this title this is here and this is the emotion emotion overseas 
and emotion impact in our series. Okay. Text is changed, and now I save this. Okay, now uh, I show you the last thing. For example, inside our uh, emotions, we have these all emotions. Okay, that is basically the three, three, six, eight emotions. If I want only three of them, for example, only positive, negative, and fair. For this, how can I do it? Inside the turbo preparation, go to the turbo preparation, and here load the data. The data is inside our uh, local repository data and inside the topic modeling. This is the overseas data. Load the data, double click on this, and inside the emotion, right click here and inside the transformation, click on the filter. And now inside the filter and the left side, here select the is in and is in the value. Click on this one, only show me the fair positive and negative uh, data in which the inside the emotion attributes the values are these three click on this and apply now this is all about the positive negative and fair data okay now if i go to click on the comment okay and if i now go to inside the charts from here now in, again if i go to the inside the bar graph and from the x-axis i select emotions and click on the aggregate again here this is the specify head emotions and group by always by emotions and count then you can here find only three values that are in, uh, related to the emotion that is positive negative and fair okay so this is how you can summarize your data or filter your data and visualize it so hope this video will help you a lot if you have uh, any question regarding to this topic you can email me email is mentioned in video description or you can comment inside the video comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day